love watching guys in the military fight MMA. I asked him one thing I haven't talked about this whole lot tonight. I said, if you could say one thing to your opponent tomorrow, what, what would you say? He said, pack a lunch. Yeah, <laughs> long there. Yeah. Long or short, who knows? Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man weighed at 170 pounds, making his debut for you this evening. Coming out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, representing zero to 100 MMA, Austin Ewers! Yeah, watching these guys that have military backgrounds fight is always great. Brian Stan was always one of my favorite guys in the UFC. They just have so much heart. Yeah. Fighting out of the red corner. Also weighing at 170 pounds. And is also making his debut for you. Fighting out of retreat, Wisconsin. Representing Griffiths MMA. Aubrey. Let's see what these guys got. Zero and zero versus zero and zero. Both look like they got a little sweat rolling before they came out. That's important. Yeah, it important is. Part there. That was always a must. Wow. Ooh. Where's that wrestling? Quick slam there. He lost right back to his feet. Ooh, ooh. Oh, these guys are just banging. This ain't going three minutes. As I say that, they calm down. Yeah. Always. Oh, nice leg kick. Adate's more of a flat foot, kind of just walk you down yeah. fighter it looks like, and Uas is a little bit, a little bit lighter on his feet. Here's the wrestling. Nice ankle kick there to get him down. Trying to work over here to side control. We got a little bit of a little bit of blood here on on Yuhas on the right, right right side of his forehead here. Yeah, that's the first little bit of blood we've seen tonight. Not yep. a whole lot. And the, the way that they were throwing too, that could have been a headbutt. I mean, yeah. Ooh. The wrestler's the overhand rights. Just landed a landed a solid one there on the, the break. First one that throws one straight down the pipe is probably gonna end it. This a straight right hand will do it. Ooh, that was almost a, a Nick Diaz slap there. Yeah, that was a Stockton slap, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, there's another one. Huh. Another, oh. Thought he had him down there. Odyssey's breathing pretty heavy. Pace definitely slowing down a little bit. Wild punches. Ooh. That's a nice that, shot to buy that. Hurt him. Hurt him. Hit him right in the liver. Those, yep, that's what we were talking about earlier, those liver, those liver shots. Oh. I don't. Yeah, I thought that was a, I thought that was a liver shot, but it looked. From this angle, it looked like it was a liver shot. Yeah, I thought so too, and, and it wasn't. He was trying to throw a, a like a kick, and it was almost. It was just below the the knee that hit him right in the liver too, and that's. No, no, you put down 
sometimes, you know, if that was the case, he got if he, get, he got him in the liver and they called it a, a, a cup shot. Hey, he, oh, so it, the ref is saying that that he he did hit him with in, a, in the liver, but his follow through hit him in the cup. Okay. I just thought the way he was acting, it looked like a little yeah. shot, the way he was stumbling. I'd agree 100%. And, and started to, to hunch over. And if it was a little shot, this is obviously the best thing for him. He gets exactly. a chance to, yeah. to recover Exactly, yeah. You here. take it any way you can, and everybody knows that. I mean, it's just, just what it is. If it was a true liver shot, then hey, yep. you get your chances. Yep. I'd do it too. Setting into the round there. Yeah. Interesting. I think I think Audite wins that with the with the slams that he had the takedowns. I do too. Yeah. Right off the bat. And he he did take him down and let he let him up multiple times too. Um, he had a good a couple good exchanges in there. Yep. I think he wins that round 10-9. Yeah, you almost would like to see him when he gets him down like that with having that wrestling background. You'd, you'd like to see him just trying to advance. See if he can he can start landing some shots and just keep him pinned on his back. You know? Yeah. So if I'm if I'm over in the zero to one hundred corner here, I mean he hurt him with a liver shot. I'm almost telling him set up your shots to, to attack the body again because it clearly hurt him. That's what I'd be saying. I mean, Audite, I mean, if I'm in the other corner. I'm saying. Get your hands into a takedown and, yep. and, and, and get, some, get some weight on them, you yep. know. Especially those slams, too. Yeah. You know, sometimes it, the, the refs, you know, the... Uh, I'd be surprised if you don't see that. I mean, that's that's what I'd be telling them. Yep. Sometimes the sometimes the judges see that, and that's a big thing. You've seen those, the slams, you know. Oh, it looked like it was game. It landed. Holy moly. Just swinging. He's going right back to that. His body, I, th I think, um, Audite's body's hurt. If you watch him, he's, he's kind of, his, his, he's keeping up. his arms low. Oh, he's got a big red welt there. Oh, man, man. wow. Oh, right to full mount, too. Those heavy hips, those wrestlers. Yeah. You know, this is a tough spot to be in for U.S. And he's only got his feet on the cage. There's not a lot of, not a lot of push there. This is a tough spot to yep. be in. This is a miserable feeling. But works his way through. He's in a much better spot. Oh, he's got to get that. He's got to get that other hook in though. So he's got, Again, both, he's he's got, got both hooks in now. He's got it flattened here. I don't know if he's quite underneath or... Yeah, I can't see from our angle here. And you wonder, I mean, Audite's tired too, so you're almost wondering if like, he's just using this time to... He's trying to get a rear naked choke, but he, he can use this time to, to get his breath back a little bit. Kind of a wild start to the round there. Yeah. It takes a lot out of you. Definitely. And you know, if, like I said, if he's hurt a little bit, you yep. got it's a good time to US is still trying to fight the fight the hands here. It looks like it looks like it's under the chin now. Yeah, it's under the chin now. Audite US is trying to fight the hands. Trying to get that get that free. He's got the first one. There you go, he's out. He's able to fight the hands and, and get that to slip out underneath the chin there. I need to slide down. Slide his hips down and get away and turn.
Yeah, this is a this is a terrible spot to be in for Ulas. It's not fun when pretty much all you can do is fight fight the hands. Right. All right, he's gonna survive another round. Yeah, and, you know, I mean, Audite won that round for sure. Yeah. You, uh, I mean, it depends on how they score the first round as far as if they thought that he got, that he hurt him with that, with that liver kick. You know, that could have swung the round his way. We could be 1-1 going into the third. But my gut tells me it's 2-0, but, yeah. yeah. It's, it's possible, you know, I... I'm just saying it's possible oh, it, could yeah. be, it could be one to one. I've seen things in in, in, in and I'm not. It, you, well, you have too. You've seen yep. how oh, crazy yeah. these. You, know, you just don't know. Yep. Uh, That's why they say don't don't <laughs> leave it in the, in the hands of the judges because you, you just can't. don't know what's going to happen. You don't. I don't think I'd ever want to be a judge. I know that much. I I did a little bit of judging for a pancreation card once. Okay. And it was it was fun, but yeah. there were so many times that. We got done with the round, and me and Sal Shiro from Chosen Few, we looked across the cage just like put our <laughs> hands up. I, I don't know, yeah, you know. Yeah. The cramp pancreation is pretty hard too because there's no headshots or anything like that. Right. You know, so. Well, here we go, round three here. See what happens. Audite's crossing his feet a lot when he's moving. I don't know if you, if you see that. He's... Oh. When he's moving lateral... He's tired. Yeah. He's, he's definitely tired. I don't know tired. if it's from being tired or if... Like right there, he just crossed his feet again. Yeah. You gotta be careful with that, you know? Oh, big time. And he's standing square, yeah. And that may be the reason, because he's yep. looking for his takedown. Yep. Not the reason why he's crossing his feet, yep. but standing square. Yep. That's a good hammer fist from the bottom. Yeah, and obviously this is a place that Uos doesn't want to be in. He wants to be up on the feet. Oh, he's, he's, got to, he's got to stand him up here. Yep. Audite wasn't doing anything. There's, and there's that shot to the body again. You can see the redness on his... Yes, is almost he's almost open hand oh. open hand slapping him. He is. Again. I didn't see what happened there. I don't know. I gotta be honest, I'm just gonna say it. I haven't seen this many midsection shots. Yeah. In this many fights in a row. Yeah. In my entire life. I feel like it's been every, almost every fight. Yeah, it has. Yeah, I, it, everything happened so quickly. I didn't see what landed or anything like that. Well, he hasn't even got back to his feet yet. It's kind of... What is this? Have you ever been in a fight where you got stopped? And you're, you're standing in a neutral corner. It's like, you know, what do you, what's going through your head when you're you can't talk to your, your corner at all? You're you just catch your breath, just breathing, and you know, I obviously if I'm in this in uh, Austin shoes here, and I'm being honest about it, I see how tired my opponent is, and I'm thinking how in the third round, I'm thinking how tired he is, what do I have to do right now to push that's, his pace as hard as I can. And that's, that's what I'm thinking, you know. Um, that's what I was wondering is if, if, he's, if, if you have a time to, to almost think about, oh, you know, what can I, what kind of, what's in my toolbox that I can use to, 
to well, move the body. Or if you go back to our interviews, this is what he says, his cardio is his king. So if anything right now, if, to, to get back in this fight and win is push the pace as fast as he possibly can, yep. you know. And then it doesn't even mean, it's just if he's got to go out there and just keep swinging and swinging and swinging and swinging and swinging, yep. that's what he's got to do, just push the pace, you know. Because I believe that he's down two rounds to none. Austin definitely looks fresh here. He's ready to go. I don't know how much time is left. I would assume a minute and a half, somewhere in there. I'm not, we don't have a clock in front of us. like Adate's taking the time to, to just catch his breath here. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I gotta say the same thing. It is what hey. it is. So. Yeah. No, I mean, these guys are zero and zero. They're tired no yeah. matter what. So, if there was maybe a little bit more on the line on a pro fight, I would, yeah. you know, I'd have a few more. I mean, and it does. That hurts to get hit in that area. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see if Austin press, presses the pace here. I mean, he's still bouncing around. He's, he's ready to go. But he, I, I think he's, he's being tentative because he, he knows as soon as he lands a shot, you know, Aubrey's going to shoot for that, for that takedown. Yep. And obviously, you ain't going to win the fight if you're on your back if you're Austin. So. Oof. I'm surprised Austin hasn't, when he, when he throws those, I'm surprised he hasn't changed levels on one of them to go to the body. Right. Because even, even if he does an open hand slap like that to the body. Austin's got to start pressing the pace here if he wants to win this fight. Yeah, 10 seconds. There ain't much now. He's just going to have to. Caught him with a nice right hand there. It's a little too much. A too little too late. Little, yeah, you need to be doing that right out of the get yep. go. Yeah, and it's, it's one of those deals where, you know, if, you're, if your corner thinks you're down two rounds, they got to tell you, I, I, know, I know he's going to shoot for the takedown, but you got to take your shot. You yeah, know? you got to go. Still a good job out of both fighters, you know what I mean? A little bit of different styles. Yep, absolutely. Clash a little bit. And I will tell you, like it is, it's it's ex exhilarating being in there. So um, it's it's tiring. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Austin, like you said, his cardio. I mean, that's his strength, and he can build off of that. And now, and now he knows. I mean, he just went three rounds in his debut fight. Now he knows he can go those three rounds. So now he can start putting putting more pieces together. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for these two fighters. 
They show sure respect. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29, 28, for the fighter fighting out of the red corner. I agree with that. So clearly they gave um they gave you us the the last round there. Um Audite with the well I, once again though that first round was that liver kick yeah. enough to, to swing that round or you know I I, I think you lost one won the last round. Yeah. I agree. Man, how are you still standing? Uh, but stubborn. Stubborn, yes. Painful, yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. I didn't know if that first strike, the first one that caught the top of your cup, did that catch your liver too, or was that strictly cup? Yeah, it came up low. Slid <laughs> off. You got them. Great. That's no good. Nobody wants to repeat it anymore down there. No. No, the second game probably didn't end. Well, I give you a lot of credit. You're still in your strong. You're tougher than most. You're stubborn in them. <laughs> All right, man. Hope to see you again. <laughs>